everybody, Jason Shadrick with PremierGuitar.com. We're at the Anaheim Winter Nam Show. I'm here with John from Tech 21, and we were just listening to their brand new signature model Sans Amp by one Getty Lee. So tell me, how did this collaboration come together? How did you and Getty hook up? Well, Getty Lee's been using the Sans Amps for at least the past 15, 20 years. Started out with the PSA 1s, the RBIs, and then the RB, RPM. Uh, that has been uh, what he's been using uh, for his direct sound, because you know he does not use amplifiers. Uh, so he uses it in the studio and live. So what he wanted to do is he wanted to pare down, distill down his rack of equipment to get down to the bare essentials. And for Getty it was a drive channel and a deep channel which does the clean sound. So it's a combination of clean and dirty. So that's what we have here. I've already blended up uh, a little bit of the edge. You can get more edge, less edge. But uh, so we were listening on the intro. We were listening to the deep both, channel or both? Both, okay. both, the deep, uh, both the deep and drive. Let's show you the drive on its own. And then we have the deep side, which is the clean DI. Then we can dry, you blend that together in any, any combination that you need. So you have your full range of like edge, dirt, and then you have your full range bass sound. Gotcha. You know, a couple of the other cool things that Getty needed on here is there's dual rear inputs for uh, two bases to be plugged in, and you have an AB switch on the front to switch between the two. He has, a, he has two wireless units in his rack, and, and that way he could easily grab any base he needs and select the base. Yep. But then we also have an override if anything ever happens with the wireless. You could always plug right in the front and override what's going on in the rear. Uh, there's a lot of inputs and outputs on the back. Okay. You know, we basically, this, these, these units, the two channels on here are running in parallel. And then you have a, a quarter inch and an XLR output for the drive. Mm -hmm. You also have a quarter inch and an XLR output for the deep channel. There's also a uh, effects loop, and you could configure that for series or parallel. And there's a tuner out, and there's a, just another buffered uh, dry bass signal out to send off to even more gear. Yeah, so it's packed full of features, and it was all features that Getty needed. Sure. Yeah. So what will be the pricing and availability on uh, on this Sans amp here? Uh, the list price on this guy is $4.99, and it should be available by about April. So John, now we're over here and what we just heard, <coughs> excuse me, was the new Q-Strip, which is kind of all about EQ. So tell me a little bit about how we have it set up here and the various uses we can uh, use this for. Well, th this is our, our British style console EQ in a box. Uh, this is set up as a, you could use it as a DI for live use. Uh, and it's really meant, it's, it was designed for multiple instruments, multiple applications. We have a low and a high shelving filter. There are dual parametric mid-range. Uh, one is, one is uh, based a little bit lower, goes from 40 hertz to 700, and the upper mid-range is, is, goes from 300 hertz to 6K. That's what's happening on the EQ side, and then we also have some preset filters. There's a high-pass filter. It removes all the uh, rumble and low end from 40 hertz and below, so it gets rid of all the body noise from acoustic guitars, um, electric basses, it'll take out all the unmusical frequencies out below, you know, below 40. And there's a low pass filter. That low pass filter is, is uh, at 6K. And the cool thing about that is you can engage that low pass filter and by using the EQ, this can be used as an analog cabinet emulator. Nice, nice. It's, uh, it's set up for live or studio use. It has a quarter inch and an XLR out. Each Which is what we're hearing in the cameras, the XLR out. Yep. And that has, uh, each has its own level control on it. So you can match it, for, match it to the board, match it to onboard stage amps. Uh, it can run off phantom power, a 9 volt power supply, or a 9 volt battery. Uh, it all has 1% metal film capacitors, mylar capac um, I'm sorry, 1% metal film resistors, all mylar capacitors, and it uses uh, MOSFET technology. So, if you wanted to really crank it all the way up, this thing will overdrive also, like a nice, right. like a nice vintage board does. So tell me, what will be the pricing and availability on the Q-Strip? Q-Strip will also be available in about April, and it is uh, 350 list, 249th Street. 
So where can people go online to find out more information about the Q-Strip, the Getty Lee, Sands Amp, and all the other products you guys make at Tech 21? Right to our website, www.tech21nyc.com. All right, thank you so much. Thanks, Jason. Thanks for coming by. This is Jason Shadrick with PremierGuitar.com.